Welcome to Electro Online. Our next viewer request video is an algebra problem. And here we're asked, we're being asked to factor, well, there's a, a polynomial with five terms. We're not used to doing that. And they give us four possible answers. Notice they don't look like the typical answers, where typically we're asked to factor a trinomial and we get the product of two binomials. That's not the case here. Now we could, of course, solve the problem by actually factoring that polynomial or we can do it using the shortcut method. So here we're going to use the shortcut method to eliminate the ones that are not the possible answers down to just one possible answer. And in the next video, we'll actually factor this uh, polynomial. All right. First, what we do is we'll take a look at the last term and we get a 9b, which means that if I multiply something in the trinomial with something in the binomial, I should get 9b. For example, a negative 3 times a positive 3b gives me a, a minus 9b, but I have a plus 9b there, so that means that this is not a possible solution. Here, we multiply a 3 times a positive 3b, I get a positive 9b, which is what I have here, so b is a possible solution. If I go over here to c, a negative 3 times a negative 3b gives me a positive 9b, again, c is a possible solution, and here, a 3 times a negative 3b gives me a negative 9b, which is not what I have over there, so that's not part of the solution. So by just looking at the last term, and the only way I can get that is by multiplying these two together, by multiplying these two together, these two together, or these two together, and I realize now that a and b and a and d do not give me the right result. They give me a negative 9b instead of a positive 9b. So that eliminates two of the answers. Next, we're going to look at the next term, minus 6b squared. So here, I have a 3b and a 2b. When I multiply those two together, I get a positive 6b squared. Now, of course, I shouldn't have to look at this one because I've already eliminated that one, but just to show that this, this gives me a positive 6b squared, I have a negative 6b squared, so it can also not be that one for that reason as well. But we didn't have to look at that one because we've already eliminated that one. We just need to look at these two right here. So I have a 3b and a 2b multiplied together gives me a plus 6b squared, which is not what I have there. So this is not a possibility. So that must be it. But just to make sure, let's check. A minus 3b and a plus 2b is a negative 6b squared, which is what I have there. And again, for both of those checks, this one checks out. That must be the correct answer. The other ones are not. And so quickly, without actually factoring the problem, I can find the correct answer. If this was a test, that would be the way that I would get on to the next problem. Quickly check that off. That's the answer. And move on to the next answer without even having to factor it. But the next video will actually show you how to factor a problem like that. So stay tuned and we'll show you how. If there was a yee, where it says none of the above, <laughs> this wouldn't work. <laughs> If it was one of those where it said E, none of the above, yes, that would be a problem. Or in some tests, they say that two or three answers are possible. So, yeah, it, in this particular case, it's straightforward. <laughs>